the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord that we praise today is the one who is able to save, able to deliver, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Our God is able to do this. The songwriter in the second stanza, "'Tis the grandest theme in the earth, amen. "'Tis the grandest theme for a mortal strain. "'Tis the grandest theme, tell the world again what our God is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. Though by sin oppressed, go to him for rest. Our God is able to deliver thee. I believe that we can join with the songwriter. Those of us who know him as Savior can testify to the fact, yes, it is true. He is able to deliver thee. I close last morning as I shared with you from Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, where the Bible says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. But in Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25, the scripture says, Therefore he is able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him, since he always lived to make intercession for them. Let's speak about that a little bit more this morning. One of the very first things that we heard about Jesus that was prophesied or by the heavenly angels, we are told that she, Mary, shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. In Luke 19.10, the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. I believe that there are more people today calling upon the Lord to heal them physically than to heal them spiritually. Yes, I know that the Lord Jesus Christ has healed, is healing, and will heal. But that is not the main purpose in which he came. Why Jesus Christ came? What is the purpose why he came to earth? The Son of Man is come to seek. To seek? Yes, to look for. And to save. To save? Yes, to redeem from the punishment of hell. Save who? That which was lost. Now when we think of the lost, all of us, wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin, so death passeth upon all men, for all have sinned. All of us are declared sinners. And the Bible said, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. He wants to exchange what is up ahead for us by giving us a free gift, which is eternal life. I like what Paul said in his first letter to the young man by the name of Timothy in chapter 1 and verse 15. He said, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. What? That Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. What happened? Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. In Hebrews chapter 9 and in verse 26, the scripture says, For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Jesus Christ is the sacrifice that pleased the Father for our redemption. His life on the cross sufficed the Father for the redemption of mankind. This Jesus, who is our Savior, is not only willing to save us, but he is able to save completely and eternally. Yes, a Savior must meet two requirements. He must be able to save. 
and he must be willing to save. So let me just share with you a little this morning on what this able Savior saves us from. What this able Savior saves us from. Let's look at the word saves. It carries the meaning of deliverance from danger. When one speaks of being saved, the word carries the meaning of deliverance from danger. Come with me. And let's look at Matthew 14, verse 29 and verse 30. Here's what the scripture said. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Now you, you know this account. Peter saw the Lord coming and he said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come to thee underwater. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. Notice this part of the verse. He cried saying, Lord, save me. When Peter began to sink after taking his eyes off the Lord, he realized that he needed someone to save him. And notice what he said, Lord, Master, please save me. You know what? As simple as that may sound, if one reaches to the place in his or her life and notice that one needs salvation and would just even simply use those words, Lord, please save me. Guess what? The Lord Jesus Christ would say. What I'm saying is that our Savior is able to save us from every evil, from sin, self, debt, hell, and the devil. Today, I'm afraid that many people ask the Lord to save them because they don't want to go to a devil's hell. While many of those very same people fail to realize that he wants to save them from evil. Not only that he saves from evil, but he saves from sin. There are a lot of folks that are not willing to give up their sin, but they cry out to him to save. He also wants to save from self. I have said before and continue to say, my greatest enemy I walk around with, and that is my flesh, that is self. He wants to save from death. And when I say death, I don't mean physical death because the Bible said it is appointed unto men once to die. But I'm speaking about spiritual death, eternal separation from God. He wants to save from hell, a place that is prepared for the devil and his angels. And he wants to save from the devil. He's able to bring us in a right relation and full fellowship with God. The word saves or salvation does not only mean deliverance from danger. It also includes the whole idea of bringing us back into a positive and right relationship with the Lord himself. Next morning, I will share with you what are some of the dangers that he saves us from. Our Father, thank you, Lord, that as we go in your word, we realize that our Savior is able to save. And God, not only just save us from going to hell, but save us from evil, save us from sin, save us from death, save us from self, and save us from the devil. And many times, Lord, we need to be saved from ourselves. Thank you for your word. Blessed to the heart of every listener. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you very much for listening. Please share with a friend. Thank you.